653. Let's get a look at the top stories we're following as you head out the door. And we begin this morning with Way 31 Stephen Dulcizian. I'm just along Governor's Drive here, one of the alternate routes for Cecil Ashburn drivers to take. I'm going to flip the camera right now to show you what the roads look like. Pretty clear on this side, but traffic has built up at a lot of the lights. Something to keep in mind this morning as you make your morning commute. Alyssa? And right now, things out here at Rock Cut Road at the intersection of Highway 72 are moving along smoothly this morning. You can see a couple of cars coming back and forth, but right now, no traffic delays or holdups to tell you about. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning. Will? Another alternate route would be to take Carl's, Carl T. Jones Drive by way of Airport Road. Right now, traffic is flowing smoothly. It's really just starting to pick up now, but otherwise, things are going pretty smoothly so far this morning. Sydney? I'm out on Hobbs Island Road near South Memorial Parkway. One of the alternate routes during the Cecil Ashford Road closure. You can see there isn't too much traffic out here right now. And if you're headed from Hampton Cove this morning into Huntsville, this is one of the routes that you can take and be able to get where you're going quickly. Bill? An armed robbery at a Huntsville jewelry store. The four people responsible remain on the run. It happened at Loring and Company on Airport Road. Police say two robbers had guns, a third had a hammer. They made off with Rolex watches. Happening today, Limestone County officials are expected to approve a construction project for Old Highway 20. Huntsville and Limestone County have been working on the agreement. Today, they will approve a plan for cost sharing. President Trump threatening to declare a national emergency at the border to get the money needed to build the border wall. Another weekend meeting with congressional representatives got nowhere. Today is the 17th day of the partial government shutdown. New this morning, a town in Georgia evacuated after a train derailed, causing a hazardous chemical spill. Officials say the Norfolk Southern train derailed Sunday night in Georgia. 280 people have been evacuated. So far, no injuries have been reported in the derailment. Today, the Tide takes on Clemson for the national championship. Kickoff tonight at 7 in San Jose, California. And Wade 31, as you covered, with Lyndon Blake and Lauren Cavasini reporting from the sidelines. Well, let's get it.